Mercy is really having the heart of Jesus. So whatever it means to have the heart of Jesus, his love, his compassion, you know, every parent understands that. We say the love of a mother, love of a father for their children. What does that entail? Well, the list is forever what it means. As the world prepares for a year of mercy, Bishop Sistone says Pope Francis's visit to the United States helped the church begin a national conversation about its mission in the months leading up to the Jubilee. I believe it was providential that the Holy Father came at this particular time. In the American culture, so much of our teaching and our values are being questioned, sometimes even ridiculed, uh, put to the side uh, lines and marginalized. And yet, Catholics, non-Catholics, even non-believers were excited about the presence of this man. I think it's a reaffirmation that the Spirit is at work. In the Diocese of Saginaw, Bishop Sistone sees a great opportunity for people to grow in their relationship with the Lord during this Jubilee year. He says it begins with an understanding of the word mercy itself. We just had our priest assembly. I asked Father Jose Cabrera to give us a little rundown of mercy in the scriptures, which was fascinating because, you know, he shows the different words that are used for mercy and the different contexts in which mercy is used. Uh, and in one of them, it's all about creation, that God creates because he's merciful and he creates the birds because he's merciful. Bishop Sistone celebrated masses with all the Catholic school students as well, helping them to understand the spiritual and corporal works of mercy. I've asked the school children to take the works of mercy and take either one or two in a classroom or whatever it might be and just concentrate on that for the year to keep mercy as a theme in front of them and the broader theme of not just forgiveness but of how we, you know, visit the sick and, and you know, and, and tend to the sorrowful, how these are acts of mercy. And just as there will be a holy door at St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, pilgrims within the Diocese of Saginaw will have an opportunity to cross the threshold of a holy door at the Cathedral of Mary of the Assumption in Saginaw, as well as several other designated holy doors in churches around the diocese. It's nothing superstitious or uh, of anything of that sort, but there's that practice that we have within the church that when you visit and walk through the holy doors, it becomes an opportunity for indulgences for you. When you do that in Rome, for instance, uh, during the year, a uh, jubilee year, they have the holy doors that are only open during that year, and people will, many people walk through them on their knees. But if your spirit is being motivated to make a journey and a pilgrimage, during which time you're going to ask forgiveness of your sins, well, naturally, there's indulgences involved in that or people's lives. Several churches, including the cathedral, also will participate in 24 hours of confession, where priests will be available for the Sacrament of Reconciliation for an extended period of time over two days. Here's Pope Francis who said, you know, talked about the importance of individual confessions, where a person comes to a person and talks through their, their sins and asks for, uh, for forgiveness. It's an opportunity for people who have been on the margin for whatever reason to come back and gain the graces that the sacraments can bring to them. The hope is to continue to draw forth disciples who live their lives with the heart of Jesus. It's something Bishop Sistone says we must first live out in our homes. That's the core of society. The way in which we speak to our parents or our brothers and sisters isn't much different than the way we treat the people at work, our neighbors, so on. And so if, if we can't be respectful to our own family members, how can we be respectful to, to the broader world in which we live? My brothers and sisters in Christ, we continue in this wonderful Jubilee year of mercy called for by our loving Pope Francis. I feel an excitement within myself about this year in a very special way. It's almost as if there are gifts that God has in store for us that I and no one can really see at this moment. And yet I anticipate great things happening in the lives of you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, your families, your parishes, and in our diocese as well. So may this holy year of mercy be a time of grace for all of you and may each one of us 
be instruments and channels of God's mercy to one another. God love you.